Here we go. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. This is like since Sunday. This is what we did Sunday, and it's not all ones. Look at how many fives are in there. I mean, there's, there's definitely ones. Holy crap, look at that. It's Brandon with Investment Joy, and I have totally caved to peer pressure, and I bought a car wash so we can go here together and find out how much money it makes. Now, not only do I get infinite buckets because we take chemical deliveries of very legitimate car wash chemicals like methylamine, but they come in buckets. So I now have an infinite supply of buckets for my YouTube channel. And if that wasn't good enough, wait there's more because this location takes both cash cards and bills so we get to do money collection videos here now i know what you're thinking you must be crazy to buy a business and debt a winner and you're probably right this is totally terrible to buy it in the dead of winter i was out here the other day it was three degrees out waiting on a chemical supply run but there were people in and out of this location, which is actually making it kind of difficult to do the YouTube series the way that we do with the laundromat because this is a just super, super busy business. Across the street from me, there is a Dollar General, a uh, trailer park, and behind me is an abandoned strip mall. So on a scale of one to 10, this is a really solid Ohio six or Ohio seven, which means it's pretty good, especially compared to my laundromat location. Now that isn't to say that everything here is perfect. Buying a car wash in the dead of winter has been kind of crazy, but I've been working on buying a car wash for a year and coronavirus um, really threw some monkey wrenches into that. This is the third or fourth car wash I've actually looked at trying to buy. But we closed on this one about three weeks ago, and I've been shooting a lot of filming. Uh-oh, uh that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, um, so we've been shooting a lot of content here um, with the car wash renovations. So the next video in this series, which will be uploaded soon, is about the renovations and more in, in deep into the finance aspect but um, I think we should get to the money collection here pretty quick. What about you guys? Okay, so for these money collections, I wanna make something kind of clear on the naming convention. These are self-service bays. To the right of them, we have the automatic bay, and then we also have self-serve vacuums. All of these cost money, and they generally make money for us. Generally speaking, automatic bays tend to be the big money maker for car washes, and it's no different here. Sometimes it makes more money than anything else does, but there's starting to be a trend of people going back to self-service bays like the one shown in the video here. And they generate lots and lots of quarters, which makes me happy. So here is uh, bay number two and three, and here we go for the collection. And the nice feature with these car washes is all the money is held in safes. The lock system on this thing is insane. This, I kid you not, this is 30 pounds. This is a bit more secure than my car or my laundromat is. And oh my gosh, it's full quarters. Holy crap, guys. This is awesome. It's freaking heavy. I get, I get it isn't too bad because this is, like I said, 35 pounds. Oh my gosh. And this is just one bay here. It's not as much as the two bays, but still, <laughs> it's a good bit of money. Look at that, guys. Would you look at that? Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's some quarters. We'll dump those in the bucket, and some of them are frozen in. Some of them are frozen in there. We'll deal with those when they. Now we're going on to the automatic bay. This tends to be the number one money producer for any car wash. It's also the most expensive by so, far. So let's open this thing up and see how much money's in there. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at this, guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? 
This is a little different than a laundromat, guys. Holy crap. Now, unlike my laundromat, everything in here, to me, makes sense. Everything is either a pneumatic pump or a air jet for, like, the brushes or a water pump. Everything's an air pump, a water pump, some sort of fixture like that. And best yet, I don't have to maintain this crap. We bought this, these businesses, including this one, with employees in place. I've taken a management partner in on this deal, so I don't have to deal with the maintenance crap and day-to-day -day upkeep. Somebody else does it. I came in as an investment partner, video guy, and we're utilizing our newspaper company to do the advertising. This location has been a fixture in this community since 1991, and the former owner, Ryan, was just tired and fed up with the car wash business. Now, we're in the middle of winter right now, and things are slow statistically, but it's impossible to film here. Just since I started videoing, we've probably had a dozen customers come through. This morning alone, it was three degrees while I waited on the chemical supply guy to drop off stuff. It's a really neat business, and I'm really excited to share it with you, especially the money. And the nice thing is this location uses cash and quarters, so we're going to go do a bill count here near the end of the video. In the video after this, we will do a lot of the maintenance side of things. We've already spent a lot of money here, and we've spent a lot of effort. We had work crews in, we've put up cameras, we've redone some of the pumps. We've installed at least one credit card reader. We're waiting on the merchant account right now, and we've got a lot more stuff coming up. Now, if the inside of this bill changer looks familiar, it should. This is a Hamilton brand bill exchanger, and it's a piece of crap. It's the same t uh, manufacturer that I have at the laundromat, but they suck in outdoor usage. We have more problems with this thing than we do anything else, I think, at the car wash. Um, I have had to fix it a dozen times, and uh, the, I've replaced the bill stacker in it. We've actually got a storage locker. We've got a half dozen of these and they don't work. So I might take one and try it in my laundromat, um, but we'll see. So let's see how much money's in this and then we'll start our count. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. This is like since Sunday. This is what we did Sunday, and it's not all ones. Look at how many fives are in there. I mean, there's, there's definitely ones. Holy crap, look at that. Do me a big favor, guys, and like this video because it helps in the algorithm. Uh, comment on what you think about this uh, business that I bought, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see what happens to this business, how much money it makes per week, and the other businesses that I bought as a part of the package because essentially, we took a poll and I've bought multiple businesses that you guys wanted to see how they worked. So I would really appreciate it. All right, so I've had to take the money here to my office to do the bill count and the coin count because the car wash got too loud to do more videos inside of it. The deal is the car wash you're watching now um, that we're going to count this money on here shortly, um, I only paid $12,000 out of pocket for. The rest of it was financed without a bank, without personal credit, without even a personal guarantee. We, the loan's being repaid over the course of 20 years at 3% interest. It's an insane deal. I've had a lot of people ask me how you do these kinds of businesses with so little money down, no banks, no credit. So I've built a course at investmentjoy.com slash course. You can either purchase the course or you can apply for a scholarship. There will be an opportunity to get the course for free. So I'd appreciate it if you go take a look at it. Now on to the bill and the coin sort. All right, guys, this should look quite familiar because this is the same equipment I use for the laundromat. Um, this is going to be short lived because we're trying to add credit cards ASAP. There's a huge difference in mentality between car wash customers and laundromat customers, which means these quarters won't be a fixture forever. So we're going to dump these in.
So my poor coin counter just could not handle the moisture. So I had to do this the old fashioned way. And if you're thinking child labor, that was my first choice. But my kids don't live in my office. So um, I took to counting them manually, row by row, quarter by quarter. I only spent like 20 bucks on the floor. But uh, after it's said and done, we end up with another gigantic pile of delicious quarters. And um, I was pretty surprised at how many quarters we got over this uh, Sunday period. It's kind of cool. So each row here is 20 bucks, and on the left I sorted by fives instead of twos on the right. 338 and quarters. Cool. Okay, so in this stack, it's the Hamilton Bill Exchanger, which produced quarters, and we're going to check for a price difference or total difference between these and this. We'll make note. This is the automatic bay money. This is what came through the automatic bay. Um, and we're going to count these separate and we're going to total them up and see how much money we made. We'll start off uh, with the automatic bay, the uh, $1 bills. And I'm doing this in my studio. I just took the cash from the, the car wash here. It makes it so much easier. And I'm only freezing a little bit. Oh, it went off right side. All right, 132 uh, just in ones. That's not bad. All right, it's going to add. Cool, okay. We're doing the fives now from the auto bay. Put that in. And with that bill stacker, this is so much easier. All right, we're up to 407. We're going to increase two tens. We'll put those in. Cool, so <laughs> Sunday. Um, and this is, uh, to make clear, this is Saturday, a little bit of Saturday, all of Sunday, a little bit of Monday. It's maybe a day and a half. Two, 727, uh, just in bills for the auto machine. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to make note of that number. We're going to clear it again. Now we're going to run through ones. This is the insert, the self-serve bays. They do not take ones. And we're going to do, add a dollar. Of course. Wouldn't be a collection if we didn't have a problem. We'll start. All right, 161 just in $1 bills. That's cool. So we're gonna take the ones out here. We'll put the fives in. Once again, in the description will be a link to this if you want to do it. If you're interested in buying a car wash with 5% down, uh, be sure to uh, take a look at the course. I'd appreciate it if you joined. I think we got a lot of good information on it. And if you're a, a mentorship subscriber, it is free. Fives, let's go. Man, 471 dollars just in self-serve bills. So what we're going to do now is look at the quarters and see if there's a discrepancy between the 471 and how much we have in quarters. So every video I'm going to try and provide a report on what we brought in. Here are the revenue totals. We end up with $1,058 in gross revenue. Here are the costs. Um, the PITI is probably the biggest expense here, but we ended up with pretty reasonable cash flow, a little north of $600. This is the third weekend of operation and we will do some monthly finance report later on. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow along in the car wash adventure.